morning guys welcome to today peekaboo I, I need to teach levi how to how to do peekaboo mm -hmm. peekaboo don't bite me ow he's pretty gentle when he bites unless he's anyway. not happy unless he's not happy mm -hmm. but anyway welcome to today's video we are headed down to deal with our horses gabby and sophie are both making a video on their channel today ow. finally a video on their channel what happened he wanted, he acted like I, like, that he wanted me to pet him, but then at the last second, he bit me. Birds are crazy. All you guys who said, don't get a bird, they're crazy. You're right, they are crazy. And they are kind of annoying. So when they squawk. Super annoying, it's super crazy, but so much fun. Levi has not been loving this new house as much as he loved our old house. It's just harder for him here. There's not as many places that he can go safely. It's smaller. Um, we still have a tree for him here, but for him to play in, but he's a young bird and he doesn't really like to be in a tree. He wants well, to that's be. That's what I was doing to him. Then he turned his neck around and bit me. He wants to be in all of our cords. So anything that we have, he wants. He wants all the cell phones, all the leather furniture, anything that he can eat that's not meant for him. All the blinds. The blinds. All of our blinds have <laughs> Levi bites this in wall them. Wall right here. Yeah, like, yeah. This house is a little bit harder on him, but we're still loving him. Anyway, welcome to today. Let's go down and feed our horses. Gabby and Sophie are making uh, videos on their channel, like I said. As Gabby's going to do a... Uh, horses morning barn routine. And get Sophie's going to do a... Uh, nighttime routine. Yeah, so stay tuned. I'll be checking out their channel. It'll be probably Gabby. They'll probably be up tonight, possibly. Maybe tomorrow night. Dance, Lee, why did? Also, in news, uh, Gabby had a crazy lesson on a dodo yesterday. Tell them what happened. Don't tell them what happened. Wait, maybe we shouldn't tell them what happened. Basically, let's just say this. Dodo loves to gallop over poles. Yeah, he loves to jump, you guys. And if he sees a standard or even a pole, he's like, wahoo, let's go. And it was a little nerve-wracking yeah, standards we signed a pole yeah so anyways uh this week then we had to trot it then we went in ah watch out Levi's going for the camera i have to move okay then we <laughs> went good. in for trotting it then he's like holy crap yeah like let's just say Ooh. that we are on our last week of a trial with him so we're gonna be making our decision um he is like a great horse amazing horse i'm just not completely convinced that he is the right level yet for Gabby. Like, he rushes jumps a little, and by a little, I mean... A lot? <laughs> he sees a jump and is like, let's go! It's like, it's like... Kind of um, like Stella. It's like five feet tall. Yeah, like, kind of like Stella, but anyway, you guys will see the video. It's another gorgeous day. Um, okay, so let's do help Laura. Let's do a segment of help Laura out. Okay, so reassure laura i guess so um i don't know if you guys know about versatile horsemanship that's a channel on youtube here they sent us three amazing hay feeders these are the chicks hay feeders and hay nets, hay nets and they're supposed to be incredible our coaches don't use hay nets they don't really believe in hay nets everywhere around us it's it's just oh, better yeah, to it. put like it's just i don't know like the safest option it's is dirty. always hay on the ground no, you can just stick it down on the ground and um, but I actually really like these and I've been watching on uh, Versatile Horsemanship channel and she's done a lot of reviews of them. Hold on. Zoomed in way too much. Okay, um, that's good for now. So I definitely want to give it a try. Wow, one try. We got the ruby. I showed it to our trainer and she's like, don't use that because it's not safe. It should be able to tie up with like a quick release knot. And um, I thought you actually hung it to the bars with this, but you don't. <laughs> Cause you can't mom. Cause yeah, you can't. I know, but I watched a bunch of videos. So how do we hook it up? We hook it on the bar. I'm worried though because Stella has shoes. So this is the part that I'm concerned about. Like, is that too low? Because that's about as high as we're gonna get it. Unless we hang it over top of that bar up there. Let's try that because when that's empty, it's gonna, oops, when that's empty, it's gonna hang on the ground. So let's see if we can do that. Oh, so that's our I other, can't tie it like this. yeah, that's our other option. And that was like so high. Uh, yeah, see, like that's that. what I need. Like, 
Uh, so I'm gonna have to get some kind of a hook. We can't hang it on any walls but this wall. See if she likes it. It's hay mom, of course she likes it. See, I feel like because it's a newish, newer thing for her, she's gonna be so super aggressive, like get me all the hay! But I like the idea that it can keep her busy. And because it's soaked, it's not like super dusty and stuff. Yeah, she's gonna. Oh, she found a way to try. That's why you stuff it full. Yeah, I'm gonna put more hay in it. But you can't get any out. But what if you go like this? Huh? So I feel like that's just way too high. I want her head to be like, I want her head to be a little bit down. She's like, what the heck is this thing? This <laughs> She's like, take me to the arena and get me my hay on the ground. She's like, help, help, they've kidnapped my hay. <laughs> I can see her frustration. Another thing you're is- You're not we, supposed to tie it up like that. No, you're not supposed to tie it. She's just she's experimenting not. because we actually, I watched a bunch of videos. It, it doesn't show it slowly how you tie it. So I need to figure that out too. But we're gonna try it today. See how it goes. We're gonna try it at nighttime. Uh, for all of you guys who are worried about us feeding our horses on sand, don't worry. We would never, well, they're gonna be eating outside in the dirt outside on the ground once the spring happens. Um, but definitely this stuff, this footing, which I'm gonna call and order some more, um, is not sand where we put the hay. It's like a more coarse material. It's kind of a lot like being outside, but not in sand and it's frozen at the moment. So they're not eating sand. I've been teaching Willow how to smile and to kiss and I'll show you that right now. She kisses Sophie so good. Don't put your feet that close, fingers that close to her. Good girl. Like the most important thing you want from a horse is how well they can kiss. <laughs> Do you see that? She actually like well pucker her lips and stick them out <laughs> and kiss. <laughs> it's so adorable. If her old owner is watching this, then please let us know if you taught her to kiss because she knew it before. Yeah, now she's getting better and She's better. such a good kisser. So Sophie has her own little station here for Willow. This is all Willow's stuff so far. I love red and purple together. She also has all this stuff on the bottom that she's hoping to hang up. We're gonna look into some sugar-free treats, right? Willow will not. You can tell how much sugar is in a treat by how much Willow scarfs down these, these treats, huh? It's so funny that um, usually horses like that usually horses want to go back, like go back where their hay is, go back where their house is, go back to their paddock. And yet Stella is like, let's go! Like I swear, she's like planning her skate down there. She's like, she's like, okay, when I get to that little bridge or I get to that green barn, I want to take off when they try and take me home. Like I never put anything past her because she's a smart horse. Stella's determined to follow the hay truck. A hay truck just went by and Stella's like, let's go, let's get after the hay truck. Well, it's kind of determined. Which he did not slow down and spook Stella, but it's a great opportunity. That's why we're doing a lot yeah, of these walks. It's like a bomb -proofing. Yeah, it's like a bomb proofing. Like little Miss Stella, her owner was walking her at night before we got her, so she's used to that. Or little Miss Willow, sorry. And uh, Stella was ridden on trails for a couple of years, so. She likes being outside too. Guys, Willow's learning to trust you now. Yeah, Willow's learning to trust Sophie, but I think Sophie's learning to trust Willow. Okay, so we made it to the big green barn. Our house is way back there. Gabby's introducing Stella to cows.
That's probably why Stella wouldn't go home last time. She's like, I smell something up there. I need to see what it is. <laughs> Moo. You're okay, Stella. It was just a cow. Ruby's like, let me chase those cows. Why does she do that, you guys? Maybe because Why won't she turn home? Maybe, maybe it's because she used to be a trail horse and she likes to go on big, huge, long trails. She's snorting at the ground. Suddenly everything's scary. But she doesn't want to go home. She hates to go. Yeah, she does not like this way. Come on. Oh gosh. You can sidestep all the way home. Yeah, you can sidestep all the way home, but we gotta go home if you want your food. Come on. Are you <laughs> Willow's a good girl? Yes. Willow's like, I'll go anywhere where my girl goes. <laughs> so Willow will never be allowed to eat grass again but she will be able to have like five or ten minutes a day and that's something that we'll always do with them is bring them that was the biggest bonding thing that ever happened with storming and gabby it was no you have no snow pants on it was her taking storm to eat hay for 10 minutes every day grass sorry every time she took him to eat grass he literally was like i love you you're my favorite person she does to get the snow. So the grass that she's eating there in the snow is like dead. There's nothing in it. <laughs> Look at the dog. Look at her. So the people that used to own this house still have junk in the yard and that will leave soon as soon as it gets warm. Nothing can happen in Canada until it gets warm. And then it will be able to move our stuff, like our trailer and our and all that kind of stuff. We'll be able to move it around. <laughs> we just got back to the house and I ordered and I called the uh, footing guy. I'm ready for footing and he said, okay, I'm coming right now. I'm like, holy crap, like I thought he would be here next week. So uh, we're rushing down to the barn, putting the horses in their stalls. Oh, it sucks. Down. Lots of things that we do, you guys, have to be done because that's the only way we can do them right now. Like. Things will change as we can change them. Girls, I told them if they come and help me with this, I'll let them have a treat. Lemon potato chips. Lemon potato which chips. Which are so good. Gross. And then, I've never tried this before, but it's blue frosting filled milk chocolate. So I have chocolate with chocolate and okay, I have let's chocolate. go. Got those from a subscription box. Um, she handles a subscription box on her channel. Woo, woo good job, Sophie. And, come on, let's go. And um, it's good to have around. Tree pumpkins are good to have around for snack. All right, you guys, say goodbye to this arena. It is about to be, hopefully, finish the base. I got a couple of loads, so. I was like, why? I just wanted to eat. I know, I'm gonna see if I can bring their, their hay in. Both of our ponies know this well. All right, is it, do you think it's low enough? She's like, all right, I love this. Yeah. So she has a wide, uh, like a... Uh, not a slow feeder. Do you think we should put Stella's? I think somebody told me to put Stella's in not a slow, slow feeder just till she gets used to it in the medium one. She's used to hay bags. She's not used to hay bags. Did you see her freaking out? No, like the ones with the mouth hole. And Stella, Willow doesn't have shoes. It's a Stella that makes me worried. So I said the girls could have a treat because we have not been eating very many treats. If we, if they came and helped with the, because this is a big job and they already are eating the treats before they even do the job. Can I try it? Because it looks really good. It's so good. It doesn't even taste like icing at all. So it, what it was it? I wanted to see what it was. It was chocolate with icing in it. I'm dying for chocolate. Mm. Milk chocolate. Great, we're all gonna be blue.
ride, there's a new guy in the field with the horses, and apparently it's a big free-for-all. Gabby went in to get Storm, and it all just ran off. Oh gosh. I don't, I feel nervous having her in that field with running horses. Oh, whoa. Watch Mr. Stormy Boy. Gabby. There's some, some anxiety there. They're all chasing the new boy. You better come right up to her now. Aw. I think he's gonna. Good girl. Standing still and waiting for him. In that gray rain Look at them fighting. Look at him. He's a girl. He's a brand new guy. Is it? Aw. I know, but he squeals like a girl. <laughs> Look at all the other horses. They're all watching. There is a video coming out tonight that shows that Storm's worn away a part of his hook. Oh, yeah. He just has really bad confirmation. And, and it's just how he's made. He is really soft feet and yeah and bad hair so we're gonna get him on a supplement but for right now that was not there before here that was so i don't know well, if, I have to do it. yeah so we're gonna just put here just take the dropper squish it squish it yep and we're just gonna put some iodine on him put it all around there because oops he has like a little tiny bit of like a bruise in there which is causing him to be sore not horribly sore just a little bit sore you could put it all around. Well, he's got shoes on. He's got shoes and pads on there. I'm just gonna. Okay. Oh. So we're just gonna put that in there. Uh, as per the farrier's advice, our farrier is amazing. We text him 24 hours a day, and he always responds. And he's like, "Don't worry about it. It's nothing." He just says like, "His foot is wearing away a little." So we're gonna do that every other day. Did shavings get up there now? Yeah. That's not good. Shoot. We gotta get the shavings out now. We just made a trip into town so that we can take care of Storm. <gasps> Gabby. Gabby said he's like a movie star. He can't walk anywhere without people crowding around him. Okay, guys, let's or his bodyguards. Gabby says there's bodyguards. <gasps> Poor guy. He's stunning, though. Kick, I kick, like him for kick, us. Kick. Yeah, he's a gentle horse. Look at the blankets You're just being intact. To kick. Storm, you be good. It. Good thing we came today. All their blankets are unattached.